What is up guys? We are on our way to Moosehead. That driver live over here. We are extremely excited. Her dad and Jeff are already up there waiting for us. We're making about the two hour and 45 minute drive. We both just grinded away at work. ETA around 7.30. Yeah, this might be the very last ice fishing trip of the season. It is March 18th. Ice will be good up here, but back at home, I mean, edges are starting to go. It's been warm, so ice fishing is going to be a thing of the past here shortly. So we are getting in every last bit that we can, and I am psyched to fish Moose Head. Like, we have both never ice fished it before, which is just insane to me in the first place, but I cannot wait. Yep, we're going to be going for some Lakers, some brook trout, nice native fish, and also some salmon. As far as weather goes, tomorrow, Friday, is going to be a little bit questionable. 15 to 25 mile per hour winds, wind chill around zero. So definitely going to find the lee somewhere and be out of the wind if we can. And then Saturday, Sunday, look beautiful in the 40s, low wind. We're so excited for our first Moosehead Ice fishing trip. So stay tuned. We're going to bring you along with us. Let's catch some fish and have some fun. I can't Don't take a picture now, Liv. Wait till I'm ahead. Wait till yeah, that's, I mean, that's a good one to have. Oh my so friggin' lord. Is, is it 12? That's that's 12, yeah. And the five, five doesn't help you. Five doesn't help me at all. So it's just 12. In the exact okay. location. Yep. So if we were, this is the landing here. Yep. And another thing, if you get over here too much too, is that wind going to shoot up through there and not help you? Right. Do we have to go way over here again, or do we just want to kind of hang right straight across from the landing and come here? I don't know. We can kind of decide in the morning. So we're just getting up here. It's quarter to nine. We've got our bed situated. We've uh. established some kind of plan for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> some of us need to make sandwiches and whatnot. It's going to be cold and windy tomorrow, so get out there around daylight and try to get away from the wind is going to be the main plan. What do they call that when you get out of the wind? Find a Lee, General <laughs> Henry Not Lee. Not the human Lee. <laughs> No, so we're going to get a good night's sleep and uh, tackle them tomorrow. So stay tuned for some massive natives. Some great fish. Negative 30s on underneath this. Negative 30 what? Pants? Long johns. You're looking good, Jeff. I'm actually, if I fell down, I could actually get up, I think. It's not that bad. <laughs> Can you take a deep breath? <laughs> <laughs> Got everything loaded up on the trailers, snowmobiles. There's beautiful Kineo in the background. We're ready to rock. Day one, Moosehead 2021. Mostly good. Some of them suckers. We aren't usually shack first people, but on a day like today, where the ice is this hard and it's this cold, we're shack first people. We're gonna start drilling some holes. I think it's 6.30. We're gonna fish the rock pile. Most important thing today, like we said, was getting out of the wind. So we're fishing just offshore. The wind is like really minimal in here. I think in the afternoon, it's gonna be getting up to 16 or 20. So we definitely wanted to take that into consideration. Right there. Oh. Let's get another quick watch. Would you look at that fish? 
salt. So when handling trout in the temperatures that we were dealing with, it's crucial to handle them as minimally as possible. You want to keep them in the water as their eyes are susceptible to freezing over, which would ultimately inhibit their ability to eat and survive. So we got him back into the water as quickly as possible. We did grab a very quick measurement of 22 and a half inches and we did not get him on a scale, but we were all in agreement that he was, could easily be a four pound fish. We are drilling the last couple holes. It has been cold, just really windy, wind chill negative nine. Chris almost passed out because his hands are really cold, but we are having fun because we just caught a freaking three plus pound rookie 22 inch fish and yeah if it was a different day we may have you know measured it flat and actually took the time but it was maybe even pushed it 22 and a half so we got a couple more traps to get put in and then we are going to get warm so today we are using mostly using smelts that's what we have on all of our traps i believe jeff has shiners on most of his traps keep by those outside traps and it is cold yeah <laughs> hasn't changed much has it Chef Boyardi. No wonder. <laughs> That's I why did. I almost passed out. That I did see. Patty cake, patty cake. Whatever works. How's it going, Betty? Good. Everything's looks good. Chris, it's looking so good. Hey, hey! <laughs> it's looking good. Thank you. How many flags you get out there, Bruce? Zippo. Zippo? I'm going to the creepers because I know it's. That's what we just did. Yeah. I... My hat's like falling off. Out here fishing moose head. We're out here fishing moose head. We're out here fishing. You can use that whenever. Oh, that's fine. My wrap I just made. Oh, yeah. So it's coming up on 10 o'clock. We're heading out, doing another round of just clearing our holes of ice because with the wind and it being so cold, things are freezing over really quickly. So we're trying to stay on top of that. We got the midday lull. Liv's taking a little suntan. It's like so comfortable. Sunshine, like no wind. On our way to a flag, we've had a few wind flags. This one's dad. Hoping it's not a wind flag. Or sub. How big do you want your brookie to be, dad? 17 and three quarters. Okay. Well, 23. You have to throw back anything that's between 18 and 23 inches, so. Two. 22? 22? Yep. That'd be wow. awesome. That was on bottom. Ah, shoot. Took quite a bit of line. Ooh, huh. That He's looks, excellent. That could be a perfect son of a biscuit. We've all been out checking traps, and Jeffrey out here got a nice little toke. Sweet. What was the bait on that? You had your dead one on the bottom? Yeah, that, that smash from Sunder sitting on the bottom. And he took quite a bit of line, and I pulled in quite a bit of dead line before I had a fish. Awesome. I, I, You like something? Something small. Shaking its head, but cool. it's very small. It's a trout. Yeah. Nice little rookie. Nice. nice little one. On the board, folks. 
little female rookie. Hooked right on the lip, too. Oh, nice. Actually, that's pretty long. Just kind of a race. Nice. Wow. All right, perfect. Ready? Yep. Nice live. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Going back. Send them back. Send them back. Nice. Nice live. I just I just got my brookie. We got another flag up. Well, afternoon flurry. Something there. Yeah. Down. Been down all day. Why would it change? Yeah. Boom. Five percent chance. How would you calculate that? His suit, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Four suits. Oh, these steel. Blade. That's true. You had a two, so exactly. Yeah. Three, three like, on up would have beat him. I like yep. that giant dollar best. <laughs> if the doll is out, suckers. So it is pretty much four o'clock on the dot. Things have slowed down significantly in the past hour or so. We had a little flurry there kind of in the afternoon when I got that brookie, Jeff got the togue. There was another flag that was had, but it's been pretty slow for a bit now. Talk about picking up within another hour or so. And of course, we're definitely back at it again tomorrow. We kind of established a plan to fish a little bit of deeper water. We have a flasher that we're gonna use. So that'll be a lot of fun. Today has been a blast, just a warm up day. For What's in store for tomorrow? Peanut gallery in the back. <laughs> Can't wait. I just finished cleaning the holes for the last time. I know I look ridiculous. I know, but I have been so warm. I have no shame in this at all. So we had an awesome first day on the ice. We got one Laker, two Brookies, and a few wind flags, and we're gonna be back at it tomorrow. Just a little after five o'clock tonight. We'll be back out here bright and early. Right in front of the old motel.